Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here, Hobbytown Hobbyplex, and it is 2023, and we are getting ready for round three of the 2022 and 23 Techno Winter Series at the Hobbyplex. I haven't done one of these build videos um, in a little while for the uh, Techno Series, but um, you know we installed the track uh, mid-October, and uh, I tinkered with some stuff for the December round, and then uh, after seeing a couple of people almost get killed on the triple, and uh, just seeing how that track, it, it, I think I think the Techno Series last round was was pretty darn good. The track held together really well, and uh, it was definitely time for a change. I was going to go pretty crazy, um, but I think uh, when I sometimes when I do that, I run out of time, and then I get really stressed out. And uh, I didn't want to stress myself out at all this week, um, so we're going to change uh, one half of the track. Uh, this time and then we're going to change the next half of the track uh, next time and then we'll probably just leave it uh, for the March round um, since there won't be that much dirt racing going on in between anyway so that's kind of the plan but uh, I did I did make some pretty major changes over here so let's check out what I got all right so one of the biggest changes uh, was right where you see that pipe um, right there um, it actually came down right where I'm standing so the straightaway was pretty short uh, for rounds one and two. We hadn't done something like that in a really long time. And, uh, you know, because of pit lane, the how long it is and the delta lap and everything else, you kind of you kind of can't do much beyond um, either a straightaway or um, having something short in the front um, when, you, when you have a track like ours. Um, you can't drop people in and then have them do stuff and then come back up because the delta lap would be faster than the actual uh, the actual lap time of a car so um, the biggest thing was uh, I wanted you guys to be able to uh, power up and through so I gave you guys the uh, extra little bit of the end of the straightaway plus people were hitting the end of the straightaway on open track days and it was destroying the pipe and uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not but pipe is all of a sudden very very expensive and I'm trying to make our pipe last as long as we possibly can so um, yeah we're gonna have just the straightaway back again okay now uh, what's really cool is you're gonna come down here and this is gonna be tamped in this is uh, we had a hump here I was gonna leave it and then I had a whole bunch of extra dirt so it's kind of hard to see right now but there is kind of a lip there but it's not really a lip it's good this is gonna be more like a drop-in so you'll uh, you'll come down and you'll very flowy just drop right in to this uh, spot right here this double um, where all this crap is at and it looks like garbage sorry it's but we're gonna be using a lot of this pipe anyways we need to repaint our walls. Um, anyways, uh, you're gonna come over here, it's gonna be 180. So you're gonna 180 after this double uh, before you would land this double and send off into the triple. But now you're gonna land and you're gonna do a 180. You're gonna come right back to me. This is about uh, about 30 feet or so, maybe 40 feet, no, about 30 feet. And you're just coming straight this way. And then you're gonna hit this double here and um, I left some room on both sides so the marshals could stay safe that was one of my big goals for uh, just changing the track this time around was to have a little bit more room for the marshals to get out of the way so nothing too crazy just uh, it's gonna be might be kind of tight I don't know I don't think it's gonna be there was actually gonna be I was actually gonna put put something right here um, instead of leaving this empty but I changed my mind because um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough dirt and it would have been a very very busy racetrack and with eight scales you know you kind of you, you really got to find that balance of um, stuff but also you know you got to give these cars these nitro cars especially a chance to, to, to clean out their engines a little bit get the R, you know keep the RPMs up and stuff and not make it just uh, malaise you know so double uh, then right here you're gonna you're gonna kind of a it's kind of a dog it's not really 180 it's more like a dog leg type corner you're gonna double up to this and then this is a really cool part of the track this is something I've been thinking about doing for a little while when I was kind of hammering out what I was gonna do this time around so the idea is you're gonna land on this and it is um, it is a little off camber so you're gonna land it and you're gonna have to really um, time your jump onto the downside because you're gonna have to turn and you're gonna jump off of this like a ski jump. 
And if I can get you guys to look, that's that that's a big gap down there. That's kind of um, it's the same landing for the triple. I'm not going to change that. Um, but the idea is you hit that. That's the same angle as that landing to that double um, before it. And you're just going to drive off of it. I don't think there's going to be a kicker or anything like that. You're just going to send it land. That's going to stay the same. And then right here, again, I had a little bit of extra dirt. So I changed this uh, single that was here into more like a, like a roller in. I think most guys are just going to drop off of it just like they've been doing before. And, uh, and turn and burn. Sorry, I'm trying not to get you guys dizzy. Uh, turn and burn over this change that I made last time. So, um, should be pretty good. Uh, let's, go, let's go look at it from above real quick. All right, so we're up on the driver's stand. So again, straightaways back, so. And then you're gonna drop in. Gonna just sort of float over that. Double, 180 to this double, turn, double, land real tight, and then uh, just sort of send it off of there, land, come back this way over that roller into that um, uphill, jump onto our dirt oval. Our dirt oval was phenomenal this weekend. I don't know if you guys can see the groove or not. And then the uh, tabletop in the middle and then you 180 back to here. Um, I am planning on changing this side of the track that you see here in front of you. Um, if not February, it'll be for the March round. I might decide, I'll make a decision for that um, by the time February round comes around. If this, if this layout's really fun, um, I might not change it just, just because. Um, if it ends up being not so fun, then I am gonna have to make this thing go away to do what I want to do on the other side. So there's a lot of dirt there. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, we're making our way through. We're making our way through. It's uh, 2023 now. And uh, I don't, you know what's crazy is um, next year, 2024, so a year from now, January, will be the Hobbyplex's 20th anniversary. And uh, that's pretty cool. The indoor track here um, was built in 2011, so we still got a little ways to go for that one. But the actual Hobbyplex itself, the carpet, the original carpet track in the store, it'll be 20 years um, next year. So we're on year 19 right now. Um, I think that's pretty phenomenal. There's not too many tracks in the country that can say that. So um, we just keep banging out what we can bang out and have good races and and uh, trying to make everybody feel welcome and, and, and happy and do the best we can. And, you know, we'll keep going. So uh with that uh make sure that you subscribe like tell your friends and uh i'll probably make a video friday when uh when practice goes on so you guys can see the track in action thanks for tuning in